Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of Autodesk Fusion. So this is just a nice little overview for beginners and people that may have not used the software before. Um, so just to get started I've opened up Autodesk Fusion. If you want a free version of Autodesk Fusion uh, check out my other video um, in the link that I've posted at the top of the video. Uh, that just shows you how to get the uh, personal version for free. So just to get started, I always go to the top left-hand corner. You've got your save, new, and undo at the top. But this little design drop-down menu is your workspace. So depending on what you want to do in Autodesk Fusion, this is what you use. So if you want to start designing parts, you use design, render, animation, manufacture, and drawing. And then once you click what you actually want to do, so we're going with the default design part. You've got solid surface mesh sheet metal plastic and utilities so the simplest way to start modeling is using using solids uh, i will in other videos cover surface mesh sheet metal and so on but if you work your way from left to right you've got sketch extrude revolve hole and then if you drop down you've got all your other tools that you need to, to use to, to 3d model including patterning, boxes, and, and loads of other great tools. And then if you want to modify anything you create, here's your modify section. So same again, if you go on the drop down, you've got press pull, so you can just move surfaces, fill it, chamfer. And if you're familiar with any other CAD software, you'll be familiar with these features. And then you also have assemble, when you've got multiple parts and components that you'd like to join together. And then construct is more your reference geometry so you've got your offset planes your axes and anything else you need while when you're 3d modeling and inspect which is your measuring and your analysis tools and center of gravity uh, insert is if you want to insert files or pictures if you want to use a picture to sketch around and then obviously selection is just your selection window so that's just a brief overview of the top bar if we go back into the top right hand corner, this 3 of 10, you can press plus to start a new design. The 3 of 10 is the capacity, because um, I'm on the free version, you only get 10 saves. So it's asking me to subscribe. But if I go to my editable documents, I've got this test, which is the, the document I'm on now. And then two cupboards I've uh, been playing around designing for my new house. So this is all your files. And if you sign up and subscribe, obviously you get more than 10 on capacity but that's where your save files are. But once you've used it on the free version, you can just delete it and then start another um, design. So we'll just come out of that. And then job status, which is when you're being collaborative with other people and then your notification center as well. And then you've got help and there's your account as well. And so that's my interactive CAD account. So the view cube is, I'll show you a bit more about this when I actually draw a 3D part. The view cube is, an Autodesk standard thing. If you click on it, it rotates round the 3D part where you want to go. So if I want it to look at the back side of the part, I click back. And if I want it to go back to the top, you just rub it, rotate it back to the top. And then you also, if you if you need to, you've got your origin here, your X, Y, Z, and which way you're currently facing. So let's change it around a little bit. So that's that. I like this about Autodesk software. It's nice and simple to rotate round in the 3D space. And then if we go back to the left, you have your browser, which has your solids in and um, document settings. So this is set to millimeters, but obviously if you're American or you just like to, you'd work in inches. You've got your named view, so you've got top, which is same again, similar to your view cube, front, right, home. So you can add custom views into this tree, which I'll cover in another video. And then you have origin as well, which is your axis, your origin. Your, and all your axes and your planes as well that you're working so let's put that in an isometric view so you can see that a little bit there so then i've got my axes there zoom out a little bit so then you've got my axes there so that's sort of the starting point to all your models there so you've got your planes and your axes different colors so reds obviously x Green's Y and blue Z. Turn them off. So the the little I here is 
greyed out, that means that I've turned them off. But if you want to view them, you just click on that. And it's the same with ed- pretty much everything on Autodesk. So now I'm just going to, oh, before I go on to start modelling, down here is your view, set, your view settings. So you've got orbit and you can free orbit to rotate round. And then use the view cube as well. Just escape out of that. And then also you've got look at, so you can click a surface to look at. You can pan. And then so if you if you if you want to actually do anything with your 3D part, you can just come down here and click your display tools, fit, fit to window, zoom to window, um, and all all standard 3D view tools. So now I'm just gonna get started, I'm just gonna look at the top plane. And then I'm gonna go sketch. And I'll click the top plane, which is a little orange box here. So if I go into an isometric view, you can see it's asking me which plane I'd like to uh, start sketching on. So I'm going to click the top face, and then it comes up with the sketch palette. So this is just what you'd like to show. So it's showing you sketch profiles, slices, line types, and so on. But let's keep it nice and simple. Um, and same again if you work from left to right. You have all your sketch tools, so you've got line, rectangular, circle, and and then you've got your constraints to constrain your geometry. I'll cover this in more detail in another video, but I'm just going to draw a square on the top plane. Then if I go to dimension here, sketch dimension, or you can just press D on your keyboard, that's 20 mil. I'm going to make that bang on 20 mil. And do the same again by 20 mil. Then any any other sketching that you'd like to do, click finish sketch. So now if I go into an isometric view, I have got a sketch of a square on the top plane. As you can see, I'm facing this way, so that's so if you're 3D modeling using the cube, I'm on the top plane at the minute. So and then I'm just going to pan round to make that a bit better. So same again, I've clicked down here on pan. So now I'm working my way from left to right. Click extrude. Click this. And then it comes up with the extrude toolbar. You can either thin extrude or extrude the whole profile. Select what profile you want. So I'm going to select the sketch. It's a new body. I'm going to pull it up. 25 mil. And then... From there, now everything should start to make a little bit more sense. What I've been talking about with the view cube, so now I can rotate that round, or you can just use the free orbit tool to rotate it round. I've got the plane, top plane underneath it, uh, which it shows in that hatched area, so you've got an idea of where you are in the 3D space. And I'm just going to click on the front plane so. If I go back to sketch, click the front plane, do a circle, just randomly, 10 mil. I'm going to click finish sketch again. And now I've drawn a circle on that surface. And then I'm going to go to extrude again. Oops. But I'm going to extrude it in so it subtracts the material. So it's saying operation here, cut. So then it's going to cut a hole in it. And then if I go to create and then use another tool. So we've got sweep, revolve, rib. But what I'm going to go for is on modify, fill it. And then just put a fill it on the whole edge and click OK. So now I've got a box here. Um, I've used, I've modified the geometry so you can, so you use your sketch to start your geometry and your, your features to create the 3D geometry and then you can modify it using the modifying tools. That's a very basic overview. Down here is your feature tree. So down on the bottom, this is why I've actually drawn the square so I can show you the feature tree. So down here you've got um, the step-by-step -step guide of how you've done it. So if you wanted to edit this extrude and make it bigger, you can just click, click, right-click and go edit feature. And then it takes you back 
to that feature and, you can, and then I can make that 50 mil instead to make it higher. I'll just undo that because I look stupid. Um, but you can also go back and press play and it'll show you step by step on how you've created the part. So that's, that's how I edit my features as I'm going along. So if I ever want to go back and edit a bit on a part, I just edit down here. You also got your bodies that have come in the tree and sketches where you can edit your sketches as well. So I've used two sketches to create this. You can turn them on and off. And it's the same with the bodies as well. You can turn them on and off. I know this has only been a very, very quick overview for beginners on how to use Autodesk Fusion. But the principles there, if you've ever used CAD software before, you'll be familiar with the tools. But if you haven't, all I'd say is start for, on a design, start with a sketch on a on on one of your planes and work from left to right. So you want to create using a feature, modify that feature to get the geometry you want. And then come back to my channel um, to view more videos and get better. And we'll show you what, what this software can really do when we get a bit more advanced. I hope you found this little quick tutorial helpful. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel um, and thanks for watching.